Hello everyone, I'm finally back from Game City, uh, which was lots of fun and very successful. Um, since I got back, I've been working on a feature that's been in my, I, uh, my brain for a while, so I'm going to try and take you guys through this feature. Um, and um, for me to bounce my stuff off, I've got Paul here. You alright? I'm good, thank you. Uh, you probably all know Paul better as Butcher Boy Toma. Um, Paul has been uh, one of the builders of Fortress Rat for a while, and uh, we've... Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the tourney. Uh, if you've not been following the tournament, I really recommend it. It's been really, really good. Um, but the tournament is of the old version. It's the new version. So you know the uh, the electric lights that you've currently got in the game? And you can put them down and you can set their colour, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, let's hide them. Right, so uh, it's got the problem that when you're playing with, in someone's world, they'll say, like, oh, change the light colour this one. So in here... As you can see, we've got green lights, uh, and this is some sort of slime room of some description. So as you can see, we've got green lights. Now, if I, if I run out here and I nip down the corridor, we have red lights, well, orangey lights. So as you can see, everything's lit by the lights. Um, if I get my, uh, my axe out, you can see it a little bit better. So you can see, we go there from uh, red, run down here, and it's green. So we can actually now have multiple lights. Um, so I carry on. I, I've, I've, I've made a whole world of it. I've been making sure it all works. So we'll carry on down here. And we've got some daylight. Actually, let's make that. Let's make it daytime so we can. Uh... Right. So it's now proper daytime. So then we've got some sunlight. Walk down here, and now it's lit by blue lights. Uh, as you can see, my it goes blue, and then we can carry on through. Now these are lights that actually let's uh, let's get rid of the daylight because uh, right, so that's just the lights. So you see the lights there? They they pulse up and down, so you can have uh, I, 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 the one I always think of for this is like a submarine. It is like the uh, um, you know like the, the warning lights from the submarine is going to sink. So that that's what I always think about that one. So you can make them go up and down. And carry on down. Uh, now I'm probably going to regret doing this one. But we've also got the rainbow light. So the rainbow light cycles through red, green and blue. But if you put down primary colours in your palette, as you can see, everything kind of colour cycles at a different sort of rate. So you can do some quite cool effects with that. Please, guys, don't don't abuse this or I get a headache while we're playing the game. Building this room, I made the mistake of building the room with the lights on. So I was here with it all colour cycling like this, trying to build the room. It's quite cool. That's funky, that, like... Yeah, I don't know what use it's going to be, but I, I do this. I put stuff in, and then people uh, people come up with uses for it. Right, let's see if I can remember what I've done here. Okay, so down here, let's see if this one's going to work. So this is the... This is sort of working. I haven't quite got this one right yet. So this is supposed to be like electricity arcing. So it's sort of flashing. It's not quite there yet, but you can sort of see where I'm going. So the idea is that you would have... Um, you know like a machine here so you don't have to light the whole room like this like i've done it so uh if i just very quickly show so you can see that's where the actual custom lights are so if i get rid of the custom lights one moment it should all stop flashing another one yeah there it is okay so what you can do of course is you can uh, first put down the top of the lights you go to see you can hide them, them away, so uh, it's a bit more subtle. That's currently called purple light because I've not named it. So you can see there, you can you can hide the lighting away, so you could actually have some machinery down there doing something, and then it would be sort of flashing and glowing. And that would be like lightning as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it works. an effect. Yeah, work for anything we've got like machinery or electricity. That would work quite well. I mean, I, I you know me, I'm a rubbish builder, so I've just sort of put some of the. Uh, space siding down and around um uh so you know so it, but yeah you should better use that to sort of give some more dynamic and interesting light to your stuff and as you can see there when it's sort of a bit more subtle and a bit off in the uh there you, you could use it for some quite subtle lighting effects and if you bury the the light a long way away um mm -hmm. it then becomes uh more entirely but you said the further away you bury the light the less effect it has right let's see if i can remember what's down this way then 
Okay, so this is this is a uh, lightning flash. The idea is I'm probably going to attach a sound effect to it. Let's turn the lights off. Um, so the idea is here that you can have uh, you know haunted houses or uh, or spooky places, whatever. So it's sort of a a lightning flash. Again, bit of a work in progress, not quite finished. But the idea is now you don't have to say in your machinima settings, hey guys, please choose blue or bright or, or whatever uh, for your um, machinima world. You can just have uh, whatever you want. Uh, and one other cup of the light that I totally forgot to put down, I'll just stick it down here. I just uh, We've also got a white light, which is not very exciting, can I find it? We haven't got any symbol, we haven't got fix it yet. Yeah, so we've just got a white light, which is much brighter than the uh, the torches, I think. So if you really want to have just like this really, really lit, the white light will do it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, restrictions, and these, this is quite important. Now, you probably noticed that I've built rooms that can't see each other. So it can only have one lighting effect active. It's probably best if I show you this in here. So we go back to the blue room. Uh, so here's the blue room. What you cannot do, and I, I will show you, what you cannot do is put like a red light down in the blue room. I put a red light down there, doesn't work, it's still blue. Uh, turn the lights on, you'll see. But put the red light there. So what it does is it uses the properties of the closest light. So I stand near the, the red light, it'll go red. Now I'm not saying you can't do some cunning effects of that, and I'm sure you can. Um, but it does mean you cannot have a room with red at one side and blue at the other and green at the other and mixing together. It's just the, the closest active light. Um, that's because it's pretty much physically impossible to do that, uh, certainly on uh, current generation consoles. Uh, I could see uses for that, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could make a corridor and put red lights, green lights. And you can also hide them. I mean, they, they don't need to be visible. Um, but, yeah, you could quite easily... And I can probably do it here uh, quite quickly if I block this up. It's nice and dark. Yes, yeah, so if I do a, a blue light, and a green light, and a red light, as you can see, as I move move through, it will color cycle. So you you know you you've got the opportunity to give the user a interesting experience. The people in your world to actually have a more colorful experience and to actually like your stuff. So. I mean, this is a bridge of lava because it's red, you know. Uh, this this room without green lighting wouldn't be a slimy room, it would just be a room. So you've actually got the opportunity to sort of theme your areas a bit better and to personalise stuff a bit more. Um, yeah, what, what people you have been waiting for that. Like. Yeah, I, I don't think that people use the machinima lights enough because you needed to uh, sort of start fiddling with it. So, say, I've given you a, a bunch of preset colours. Uh, we might expand this up in the future. We'll see, sort of see how uh, how popular it is and how popular it goes. Um, but I think people actually get more use out of it. Um, and I'm sure people are going to ask me, can you please, please, please do it so that you uh, can have multiple lights together? But but really, on a current generation console, that's just not going to happen. So. I'm sorry. Wait for next gen. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, we've got some other stuff coming, but this is pretty much a finished feature. So this took me uh, three or four hours today um, to do, uh, but it's pretty much done now. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. Right. That's fantastic. Um, so the the lightning, you know, you've got your lightning effect. Yeah. So you could have like inside the the building. You could have your, say, your red or your green light. Yeah. And you could have the lightning going on in the outside of the building by a window. Yes. Would well, that work? The, yeah, the only thing you need to make sure is that the room that's lit by the lightning also doesn't have, say, a red light in it, because then the red light right. will take priority. But you could light it with torches. Um, if you don't say, if you don't, if you don't care about any of this, you don't want to, uh, you want to stick with it, is just use the deep blue light everywhere, uh, and then it will... Uh, then it will just act the same as it is. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're in two minds about whether or not we're going to uh, allow people to see the lights. So currently, I, I've just done a, I, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of little models from they're just temporary. Um, we might let people see the lights or we might just hide the lights entirely. But you can see there's all the different light models or light textures. So, But we might have it so the warning one looks like a warning, the rainbow one looks like a little Nyan cat or whatever. 
Yeah, I, and they could if you if they were able to see them, they could still hide them as well if they didn't need, if the model didn't fit the world, couldn't it? Because yep. it's just behind a custom block or something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think what I'll do is uh, at least initially I might just ship them hidden, but it kind of depends what Andy comes up with. So if Andy spends some time and uh, models us some cool stuff, we'll put them in. Uh, uh, otherwise, we'll, we'll we'll ship it invisible. I think cause I I saw a lot of uh, morning the tournament worlds where morning after you hadn't turned the lights off and they just they're like this they're kind of just positioned randomly because you're not supposed to see the light models you're just supposed to yeah. see the lights just like that so it's just a blue room um, but I really look forward to sort of seeing people uh, well being able to colorize stuff but I finally we're going to see a lot of this one I think we'll see a lot of the, that one. And I have a horrible, yeah. a horrible feeling we're going to see a lot of this one too. But that's okay, because it says some people uh, like that stuff. Um, I think you you were commentating on the, the Star Wars video. I've, I've totally forgotten who it's by. I apologise if you're watching. Uh, the Clone this Wars would guy. Be, uh, yeah, this would be Because he's got all buildings on. and, you know, gun effects. So, you know, he, he could actually have on the outside of his spaceships lit by the red machinima lights. But then you go inside and the control rooms have got you know this going on and you know he can uh, start to bring his world to life a bit more and, and so if you've uh -huh. done graphics like uh, like you know art and things lighting is a huge amount of it i mean it's something a lot of games do very very well these days and lighting is very important it's it's, it's as important as any of the rest of the things and our lighting's not bad it's not brilliant but give uh -huh. people a bit more flexibility to be cool yeah so there you go that, that like, gives you sort of the idea of uh how the lighting can sort of go. Like it sort of reminds us of time splitters, the level edit on time splitters. Oh, cool. Because you put the different light. There. Yeah, it's very good. But yeah. they, you could you could actually light the whole level in different lights, and um, you could make some really fantastic effects in there. And oh, this yeah. this this has got the the chance to be absolutely off the charts when they get get a hold of it anyway yeah well i say if people have got ideas if people say oh don't put the strobe light don't put the the lightning one in uh, the lightning fires too fast it'll fire much less often than that uh, but if people have got ideas about how uh how the light should work or different light types uh i say stick in the comments and, and uh, i promise i'll read them um, otherwise, um, I'll carry on working on the 1.1 patch, 1.1 alpha patch, sorry, and we'll just kind of see how things go. Um, overall, it's going quite well. Uh, I won't talk about Steam Heroes and stuff and other, other stuff now. I believe it just this is just going to be about the lighting because I said it's uh, it's very cool, and um, the testers should get a build of this um, either tonight or tomorrow. The lighting is actually very stable. It's been a simple modification to the current system. So I should be able to give the testers um, a build quite soon, so you can actually have a bash and actually uh, see if you can have some cool stuff with it. Brilliant. How is this going to work in your RPG in your incursion mode? Um, what the lights? Because you've got the machine. You've got you've got the machinima lights in there, haven't you? The um, spleef lights. Yeah, the spleef lights are currently almost definitely broken. Uh, let me see if I can sort of demonstrate what happens because currently, I, so this menu option is probably going to go. Uh, to be honest, uh, so if you actually fiddle with it, it kind of just argues. So like there, it's trying to go to one colour and then it just argues back. So it doesn't quite work yet. Um, what I might just do with the Spleef Arena, I, do, I, do, I don't know if anybody ever noticed. I don't know if anybody actually built Spleef Arenas with uh, um, the lights on, but the lights, are, they change colour show how the match is going, but I don't know if anyone actually did that. Um, but yeah, right now that's broken. Uh, I might just remove it. I might fix it. I'll see kind of... Uh, I mean, again, if there's anybody here and you build speed for units, do you put the lights down? Do you make sure that all works? Or do you not care? Please let me know. Because if I don't know, I can't, I can't fix it. Otherwise, if people don't tell me, I just kind of do whatever's in my head, which is sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's really broken. So... Like the rainbow room. I'm going to regret that. I'll, I'll join the entire world to flashing horrendous nightmares. No, no, that's going to be great. You leave that in. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so just very quickly, we've got eight slots. So we've got the blue, we've got green, we have the uh, we have the siren, the, the flashing light, we have the thunder, we have the electrical effect, we have the rainbow, and then we have, yeah, and the white light. So we've got eight lights. They will have a graphic. They'll all have proper names. So they'll just play solder. Um, if you've got any ideas, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, uh, 
um, after watching this, go and look at the tournament videos. They're amazing. They're not like my terrible world. They're really good. Um, and hopefully in, in a day or two, I should put a video about copy and paste. Um, look forward to that one. I'll, I'll yeah. just put the washer on. Good plan. So take care, guys. Uh, rate, comment, <laughs> subscribe, and I shall talk to you again soon. Oh, uh, and Paul's got a really good joke. You got a good joke, Paul? Um, what's an apple and an orange got in common? The no? E, the letter E? <laughs> uh, no, I knew that can drive a tractor. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>